Hi, welcome to Pit Kit Plus demonstration. I'm going to take you through installation and just basic usage. That's basic usage, okay? So let's assume you've got your download from the URL. You'll get it from a Pit Kit specific URL. You've got it saved, and then you want to install it. You just double click it, double click, and select it, and you'll get the installer. Um, install the software, read the licensing, read the current caveats if there are any, okay, and some advice, it's advice, it's good advice, read it. Then install it to your selected folder, I have it installed, take a folder and I'm going to install the whole package. You're going to get lots of stuff in the package and we're going to have a look inside there in a moment. Now select finish. So we're going to have a look in my start menu and we're going to bring my start menu up. We're going to just see what's installed, okay? Well, installed in there were a number of items. A pick kit 2, uh, for a pick kit 2, so a pick kit 3, a user guide for the command line utility, which has also been installed, and then you'll get a, a console to go to that uh, particular utility. So you've got three things, pick kit 2, pick kit 3, user interface, and a command line utility which we'll look at as well. So let's start up a pick kit 2. Old, tried and tested. I've got a couple installed. These are certified programmers. We have a certification program for certain programmers and I'm going to take the version 02 of this programmer and it's going to hook up and it's going to find a part. And it's found a 16F1459 and that uh, is a relatively old um, chip we support many chips uh, I'm just going to open up this other pick kit 2 program so I can have a couple open up at a time and this is the new part um, one of the um, the ones that's sort of been uh, pushed by microchip and then we'll have a look at the pick kit 3 and the pick kit 3 interface um, is over here and um, we've got these three items so I'm just going to move my folder away and we're going to look at the difference and the first thing that you notice is there's a slight difference in the height well that's because pick kit plus supports hef and saf support and that means that it's a it's a little bit like eprom um but it's in the upper part of the memory and therefore you have a slightly different dialogue if your part doesn't have if your part not the software if your part doesn't have hef or eprom you'll get a the middle one if your part doesn't have EEPROM <laughs> and it but it has HEF you'll get a, a, the right hand one and if you have EEPROM and HEF you'll get the left hand one and this is purely chance on, on the behalf of um, what's happening here because um, I didn't really know that that was going to be happening okay so what we can do is have a look around. Well, we've got the standard read, write, verify, erase, and blank. And if you have um, a, a write or erase when you've got HEF checked at the bottom, I'll come on to that, it will retain the memory. So we'll have a look at that very shortly. You've got the standard um, VDD on and uh, master clear select, and the different voltages on the pick kit twos on the, on the middle and on the right. Inside of um, the device family, slightly reordered, that's all they are, and there's more parts, okay? When you, um, as we grow the database, there are more parts, okay? And if you want to have a look at the parts um, that, are, that, are, um, that are supported, you can simply click the bottom right-hand digit. If you click on that, you'll get opened into a notepad, and it will show you the latest, um, the latest parts support. So these few today... These few at the top went in today. Try to keep them at the top so you can see what's um, been added in. It's added in automatically, but um, these were added in today because um, the parts arrived today. Um, then you can download the pick kit database, parts database, and update it yourself. But we'll keep you informed. Now, the important thing is that the database, you can't use the old database and expect the same functionality in the old software. It does not work. There is additional functionality, a lot of it, in this in this software, which enables us to read the newer parts and write to the newer parts. We have new protocols, 
new information in the database, etc. HEF, SAF is not specified in the old software or the old database, neither is the new protocols. Okay. In terms of um, family, we can sort of look through if you were doing manual select. Now in the programmer, you've got your standard rewrite, uh, read, write, verify, erase, and blank. This is the same as the buttons on the front. You've now got um, a, a few more options in here. You, you, you had verify on write before, clear memory, hold and reset. That's um, from the old one. You've now got enable HEF, SAF, um, auto merge, and, and if you've got HEF or SAF and you want to auto merge the part with your program it will do that automatically um, you've got the alerts that's been fixed because it was broken um, you can write on the pick button if the pick button worked in the past we haven't changed the functionality um, you have manual device select as the same as before and then you can turn off auto detect on start you need this for certain parts you need it for 12 hours, you need it for loads of different parts. Just turn it off. It's a nightmare. It was, it's not a good, it is not good to automatically select on detect, okay? So I shall turn that off. I shall turn it off. And when it saves, when it saves um, these, it will save that way for me. In so what's new in here, remember, is um, HEF, auto merge, and auto detect and start. In the tools, I don't think anything's changed in there. Nope, nothing's changed. I've removed the um, uh, windows, but you've got all the help and all that sort of works now. Okay, and we'll be updating this uh, substantially as we as we go along. So you've got all the data um, and all the um, help that you need. If you want, want to see the uh, part supported, you can click it here. If you want the help, it's actually, you want the readme for the software, it's there. If you want the um, Pit Kit Plus on the web, there's a link to that. There's the user guides. Uh, there's all the user guides, and we're updating the user guides continually. Okay, a lot of work. And then there's the about, and the about are very similar. It tells you the application version, the device uh, version, which is the same number that was on the front, and then the operating system version of the PIC kit. Link to the um, online uh, website, and then the um, mandatory license agreement with Microchip, okay? So that we can do this. So, let's, um, we'll do a standard, um, we'll do a read into this um, LF1252. Uh, Look, we've got some code on there, and we can verify it and write it, and it will do its funky stuff. It's doing it. It does what it, it does what it says out of the box. Okay, yeah. Um, it does exactly what it says. I'm guaranteed on my oscilloscope on the right hand side there is a three second um, a three second um, uh, square wave. Okay. On um, if you've got HEF or EEPROM, let's do EEPROM. If you just wanted to write your EEPROM, which you can, you can. Exactly the same as before. You can just, um, you want to retain that HEF, I can tell you. Uh, you can write, um, I've got I've got HEF on this chip, so I want to retain it. Okay, I don't want to lose it when I write it. So um, I've written out some values into here, and in the bottom of, in the, I thought it had some values, I didn't. Um, in the bottom of here, you can see that um, it's got a slightly different color, and that's because these are the protected bytes. And we'll have a look at how that works over here. This is a, another another a 16F, and you can change them out of protective RAM. If I read the part in, you can see I've got the numbers 1 to 32 that were in there. If I look at the top of memory, there's oh, there's a program. Okay, all right. Hmm. Let me erase the part. Now, I've got Manage turned on down here, so it's in red, which means it's operational. And it will erase the part. That green just flashed up. It's now restoring the part with the HEF. You've now got an empty part except for the HEF that you um, that you desired. Now, I should have a program in here that I was using earlier on. Hopefully, it's still um, hanging around. There you go, right to the HEF lot. And now, in in the in the top end of the program, I've got my 
uh, uh, display sorry I've got my program at the bottom end I've got no HEF but because I've got it enabled and I'm going to turn auto merge on enable auto merge it will then take the program I'm putting in there and it will merge it with the um, HEF as it's just done you know writing it out and uh, configuring it so that's a quick flyby of Pit Kit Plus installation and basic usage. There'll be more.